Hello friends, if you have watched my previous video which was based on making a universal mobile phone charger then you might have a doubt that how a rectifier circuit works. So in this video I am going to tell you how a rectifier works and how it is changing an AC signal into a DC signal. Let's have a glance on parts from my previous video. However before proceeding further I would suggest you to watch uh, the mobile charger circuit video so that you could understand the application of rectifier circuit as well okay anyway uh, let's get started as you could see these are the components which I have used to build the mobile charger circuit and this is the schematic diagram of the mobile charger circuit so uh, let's skip these things quickly so finally the circuit completed as you could see here I have divided the full circuit in four parts transformer section rectifier section filtering section and last but not the least is the stabilization section so now I will focus on the rectifier section so this is the standalone rectifier circuit here you could see the AC signal or you could say the sine wave signal is applied from the left side of the rectifier circuit and here you could see the signal is getting altered after completion of every half cycle due to which it is also known as alternating signal which when applied to the rectifier circuit terminals will change the polarity after completion of every half cycle I mean to say that the positive terminal will become negative and the vice versa so now let's connect the AC source and load resistance RL to the rectifier circuit. Okay. Now let's see the effect of the first positive cycle. As you could see clearly the polarity. That is upper terminal is positive and lower terminal is negative. And you could also visualize the red arrow mark which is depicting the flow of current in the circuit and the purple color indicates the path which is active for the present situation which was chosen automatically by the current as per diode rule which I am considering you know that is uh, like forward biasing, reverse biasing etc etc. Here I want you to notice two which is being used during the positive half cycle that is the current situation and also notice the flow of current in load resistance RL which is flowing from bottom to top hence we are getting positive half signal as an output now let's check what changes will take place during negative half cycle as you could see the polarity at the input to rectifier circuit got interchanged due to the alteration in the input signal and the current is now flowing via first and third diodes however one thing did not change that is the flow of current in the load resistance RL due to which again we are getting the positive half signal as an output so again the next positive signal will repeat the same tendency in the circuit as well as an output signal and uh, similarly second negative cycle will also give us the same output now let's analyze it in a different manner so that you could understand it properly so in positive half cycle I would like you to notice the polarity at the input terminals of the rectifier as well as the flow of current so uh, now again in negative half cycle just check the flow of current it is choosing first and third diodes uh, right now and again in the positive half cycle it is choosing second and fourth diodes but uh, here uh, you could notice one thing is not changing that is the flow of current in the load resistance RL every time current is flowing in the same direction in load resistance RL and hence we are getting positive waveform every time so now we are familiar with two types of waveform the first is the AC input signal and other is rectified signal which is also known as pulsated DC signal. Now let's introduce filter that is the capacitor in the circuit. So here we need to connect the capacitor parallel to load resistance RL. 
we are placing it parallel to load resistance RL because capacitor should be fully charged till the signal is reaching its maximum level that is 12 volt in this case. We are doing this because we want the capacitor to supply the voltage to load resistance while signal starts falling from peak towards zero and it should supply the voltage till the signal again reaches to its maximum level and the same will repeat during every cycle. So in a simple language I can say that here we are using the capacitor to fill the signal gap between two peaks of pulsated DC signal. So after using filter we can see the signal got stabilized up to some extent. So as you could see we are familiar with uh, three types of signal till now that is the AC input signal, rectified signal and the filtered signal. Don't be confused with the blue part in filtered signal that is just to differentiate the change occurred after introducing filter in the circuit. So here you can get which signal is acting as an input or output for a particular section in the circuit. Now we will use filtered signal as an input to the stabilizer section. As soon as the filtered signal passed from the stabilization section, we are getting the stabilized 5 volt signal as an output. Don't be confused here. We are getting 5 volt instead of 12 volt because we are using 5 volt voltage regulator IC in the stabilization section and hence we are getting 5 volt regulated DC as an output. So now uh, let's have a quick view on uh, how the signal are getting converted. Here you can see the AC signal is entering rectification section and further it got converted into pulsated DC signal which further acts as an input to filter and gives us an unstable DC signal further which acts as an input to the stabilization section and at last we are getting a 5 volt regulated DC signal as a final output. So friends this is how a rectifier is converting an AC signal into DC signal. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful please do like, share and subscribe the channel for upcoming videos. And for getting notification, do press the bell icon. Bye. See you in the next video.